See, I think I got it simple, just perfect. Thank you. All right. She commented. To be amazing. Yes, I told him to have homework done. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's Kevin and Mikkel. We are back with a new video. Please make sure you start this video off by clicking that thumbs up button. Also, make sure that you share this video on Facebook and on Twitter. If you see me post on Facebook the link to the video, please share it on your Facebook wall. I don't care if you have four friends. Please make sure that you share this video on Facebook and then retweet our tweets on Twitter so everyone can watch it. And, you know, take a little hashtag, The Scorpion Show, and tag yourself watching us on Instagram so I can like your photo. Also, I want to give a shout out to everybody who was in the intro for the birthday thing. Happy birthday to all of y'all. So I'm going to try to get everybody's birthday in once a week. So please make sure you send me a cute photo of yourself and your birthday and send it to the scorpion at iCloud.com so you can be in the beginning of our video, you know, celebrating your little birthday and everything. And I do want to give a shout out to Ashley Sha Miller, who's on YouTube. Shout out to Ashley, happy birthday to you. I know it's real cold in Chicago. You're here like minus 15 degrees, but you know, we had like 8 degrees. But hey, happy birthday to you. I hope y'all guys. I thought the minus was colder than the it regular. Is. It is way colder. I was about to say, because I thought it went 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, and then nice. minus 10, 9, 8, 7. No! Oh. You true. <laughs> That's what I thought. Hell no. It didn't go negative 1, 2, 3. Like, can you imagine? Can like, you imagine if you woke up, woke up and it said negative 2? No. I, w I wouldn't go outside for nothing, okay? First of all, the real degrees is mutton. Not even for day. It's my <laughs> zero my two degrees. I tried it. And I didn't want to say that. If it was minus two degrees, then you see that on the TV. Then it's like, but what it actually feels like is negative 20 degrees. Like, that is crazy and no we're not used to it so everybody in canada all right we don't know what it is because all right but bitch that's cold okay we're used to 20 degree weather but when you go all the way down into the single digits that's like fucking it was cold. the other day yes and i went to my aunt's house the other day she gonna say why are you outside okay i said i'm saying don't try me it was a ghost town outside with yes, nobody it was. outside it was no traffic i was <laughs> zooming <laughs> For what? Well, I had to take my dad. My dad does construction. Mm -hmm. And so I had to take him his face mask. I had to get his face mask for him and take it for him because it was cold. Mm -hmm. And he needed his face he mask. He should have known he had a face mask. I know, but I, I don't know. I, maybe he thought he had it in his truck. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So, yes. Yeah, I went to go take it for him. And while I was out, I decided to run some errands since I was off. Where did you go? I, well, I had to make flyers for my trip. I know that's And funny. then I had to pass them out. Starting from North Philly all the way on up to where I live at, to the people with my family and stuff like that. And then I went to go stop at one of my um, aunt's house, and me and her were talking about another yeah, thing. I'm, I'm, think, I'm thinking about this trip. I'm really, you should know. Every, I'm I, really... Mind you, I got so many good feedback. Everybody's calling me like, oh, we can't wait to go. I have a flyer in the car, too, for you, too. Okay. You have a good time. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm really thinking about it for July. But see, I don't know because... One of my friends, you know Keenan, he um he's actually taking me to the Bahamas this July. Oh, so that's I nice. I don't know when. Yeah, just that, the, that, that was my Christmas present. I don't know when in July. In July? Yes. I wish somebody would give me a Christmas present okay. in July. Hell, I wish somebody would give me a Christmas present on for Christmas. <laughs> Like um, so I'm just so excited to go because I've never been. Mm -hmm. It's going to be on a cruise, so we got to fly to Fort Lauderdale and then. And you've never been on a cruise. Never. And it's eight days. I heard they're wonderful. Oh my god. I'm going on a cruise. I've decided that I'm going to go on my first. My mom and my um one of my aunts, they're getting together and they're throwing this trip um this summer, for on a cruise and they have a, a bunch of our family members and friends and they're all going. I didn't want to go, mm -hmm. um, for two reasons. Because I had already decided that I wanted to go next year with one of my aunts. I have a ton of aunts. Okay. <laughs> my mom oh, my has five sisters, sisters, okay? So, yes, I have a ton of aunts. <laughs> so, one of my other aunts, I decided to go on a cruise with her because her and her husband, they go every year because they're retired. So, they go every year and they always go and they always have fun. And they also always go on Royal Caribbean, you know, the high class ship. So, Royal Caribbean has a brand new ship that's coming out later on this year. But, see, the ship is leaving from... New Jersey, oh, yeah. and they're like, it's going to be too cold to be leaving from New Jersey in November. 
you know, or December, whenever the ship is going. So they decided to wait until next summer. So this summer, they're not going on the cruise. So I decided to go with them next summer. This year, one of the reasons why, that was one of the reasons why I'm not going with my mom and them. The other reason is, my mom and them are going on Carnival. I'm like, oh, all this yes, stuff that happened okay. with Carnival good and you didn't luck. learn your lesson? Girl, good luck to that because I won't be with you, okay? Don't be calling me saying y'all got stuck. Ah, it was like three ships last and year that got stuck. Then one guy had was backed up with shit yeah. all over the fucking... Uh, yeah, for the whole you ship. Got that. And, they, and then the Carnival had the nerves to give them their money back and a free trip. Don't give me my free trip. Just mm-hmm. give me my money back. All, and double that. And Just double for, that. For pain and suffering. Okay, you all can't right. give pain and suffering for that. No. And also, you got. I know because I watch the Pierce Court. Joyce Milian, I give you pain and pain suffering. And for suffer. that. You don't get pain and suffering for that. Mm-mm. They need to start giving up because sometimes it is a pain and suffering. No, you don't get pain and suffering suffer for that. from that stuff. Mm-hmm. So, um, also new, 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 breaking news, breaking news. At the Scorpion Show store, you can save twenty percent off your entire order. I mean, we got shirts. We have hoodies, we have v-necks, we have cell phone cases, we have tote bags, we got, we're trying we're trying to get something for the little booty shorts for y'all, girls on the beach and stuff, so you know, we really hooking up this store, so head on over to the scorpionshow.spreadshirt.com, we have brand new shirts, okay? We have one that says I shade, all right. We have one that just says simply the Scorpion Show, which is our new logo. We have the new have several shirts. We're not even saying the seats no more. We're just saying have several because sometimes you just need to have several, several drinks, several. You know, I'm not gonna go there. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, you got the uh, shirts with our face on it that you can buy. There's a lot of shirts that you can get from theScorpionShow.com, and the sale is from today. Up until next Tuesday. So I know you girls getting paid tomorrow. Tomorrow's payday. So make sure that you send some coins on. Well, this video will be out tomorrow. Show. It's coming up tonight. Because right. I, I actually, I just uploaded the new Final Cut Pro. And it works like that. So every video could be in HD. Like normally it would take like 9 or 10 hours to do. Yeah, because our new video was in HD last yes, night. Because yeah. it was nice and clear. So I guess you just said F what the young said. Who? Oh no, no, oh, 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 you sure right now. Like you tried it, Dion. No, who is y'all? They said we was coming. She said who? You know what I mean? Because sometimes it's easier for me to just get it out the way and just upload it. And then you guys can watch. If you want to watch Fridays at three, you can do that. So then maybe you. Then maybe you. What you should do is a set time. If you if it's that fast for you to upload a date like that, mm-hmm. then instead of just uploading it whenever and because you know then we're gonna go back to that problem that we had okay. before we talked to Ayana. What you should do is if you can upload it the same night that we finished it, then you should upload it at a certain time. Oh it takes but see it take it takes a while to edit. And then who knows what time is actually gonna produce on YouTube. But yeah, maybe if I make it available at 8 o'clock So then why don't you just stick to the same schedule then? Because I don't want the video to be up late in the afternoon. But we did it for a whole year and it wasn't a problem. So why can't you just stick to it? We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to say, I want you to let us know. Do y'all want it up late at night so you can have it in the morning or do you want it in the afternoon? Well, the afternoon seemed like it worked. It seemed like a lot of people was, appreciated okay. the fact that you So you want me to make them wait till 3 o'clock tomorrow? But you didn't wait. It wasn't 3 o'clock. You did it at 1, didn't you? Or sometimes. Was, sometimes 1, sometimes 3. I appreciated the time schedule because I liked getting on my phone and seeing everybody tweeting. Oh, she about to curse you out because <laughs> I, I, I ain't got to do with that. I said keep it to the time schedule like Yala said because it worked. And it and it did work because a lot of people appreciate it and a lot of people were like, now we know when you're going to come on instead of all, all right, being so all this video, days. this video is going to be up at 3 o'clock today. today. Well, to, Friday. Well, Friday. Yes. This right, Thursday. At 3 o'clock, the video was up. There's a Tuesday, funny episode Friday. of All in the Family that has something to do with this and I don't think I want to tell y'all right now. Uh, uh, is it good or bad? It's a good, funny episode. Okay, so I'm about to tell y'all real quick. So it's this episode of um, All in the Family, right? And so it's the Swingers episode. And so it's it's a hilarious episode. So anyway, Edith gets this letter from this couple, the swinging couple, but she doesn't know that it's a swinging couple. But, you know, whatever the case may be, she meets them from this magazine. Whatever the case. So she gets this letter and she reads the letter. So then... The couple shows up at her front door after she reads the letter. Da, 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 da. So then she's like, oh, you know, you guys are here. And the lady said, well, yeah, you know, we sent in the letter that we were coming. And Edith said, um, 
Um, no, in the letter you said that you were coming tomorrow. And the lady said, yeah, but we wrote that letter. We sent it out yesterday, whatever the case may be. And Edith said, but I read the letter today. <laughs> and so tomorrow is tomorrow and not today. And so that just reminded me of uh, that episode. Yeah. Shout out to all the internet. <laughs> Shout out to Edith Parker. It's much funnier when you see it on the show. But they, but did they come to have sex with them? Well, the couple did, but Edith and Archie didn't yeah. know because oh, it's a hilarious episode. Well, I'll be looking for that on YouTube. Yes, it's on YouTube too. It's yeah. hilarious. Now on Tuesday we were well, actually Monday we were supposed to talk about Jahi McMath, who was a girl that went in for a simple tonsil, tonsil removal. removal, and the medicine that they gave her, you know. Just I, I I don't know what's the right way to say, but her body didn't take it, or they might have gave her too much of the medicine, and they caused her. To was it the medicine, or was it something that happened during the surgery procedure? Yeah, I think it was more to what they gave her. Oh, to what they gave. Okay. And um, you know, long story short, she's brain dead in in the hospital in California, and this happened over a month ago. And, um, you know, we just haven't had the time, and I wanted to see what was developing from the case. You know, in, in California, they have this law where you can only be on life support for such amount of time. Mm -hmm. And um, the family was like, no, we're, we're not just going to let you take her off life support. Mm -hmm. We're going to go to the judge, and the judge extended it saying, you know, if you can find someone or find this facility willing to take care of her, you have such and such day mm -hmm. and such and such time to do it. Well, the girl is now still on life support, and she is in at an undisclosed location. I think they were trying to get her to come to New York. Yeah, fly her there. Yeah, but I don't think that they actually did that. And they set up a GoFundMe account where people can donate money to help, you know, pay for the medical bills and everything like that. Now, for me, now I want y'all to have this on video, okay? Uh -huh. If the doctor, if something ever happened to me, God forbid now, maybe like 60, 70 years uh -huh. from now, if something ever happened to me and I was on life support and and the doctors declared me declared me brain dead, I wouldn't want to be going through all of that. Right. If the doctors say I'm gone and my brain is at can't do nothing, let me go. Right. Do not leave me and my body on limbo because y'all fighting over who want to get what, who want to get what, or y'all just don't want to see me go. It's it, it, it's time for me to go. I'm. It's nothing I could do anymore. Right. I can't live. So brain why, dead yeah. is dead. Why have me in that vegetative state with my heart beating through a machine? Right. Let me right. go. Right. Because if your brain's not alive, then you're not alive. Brain dead is subsequently you're yeah, dead. Your body can't do anything. You, you can't do anything. And I understand the pain and the anguish from this family. I really do because this is a young girl. She's what thirteen. Mm -hmm. so naturally, the family wants to have some type of hope. Yes. But when you are declared brain dead, it's rare that you come back from that and then bounce back in full form than what you were before this operation. A lot of times, if people come back from, if they come back from, they're in a the vegetative state. Mm -hmm. And it's still nothing. So it's like, yeah, like I, I, it's, I just it's, it's, it's it sad. It reminds me of that Terry Shavo case where yeah. the husband said, his wife said she would not... Want to be that way, and but you know, the fam, but her yeah, the family, family kept her that way. they was yeah. fighting for like six, seven years. So at the time he got moved on, yeah, they should have found a wife. Home. Like, yeah. oh my goodness, like stop playing. I didn't even know that Ariel Sharon was still on life support. Oh yeah, uh, after all the like he had his stroke years. like in two thousand six oh, or something like that. Like, like, ain't that something? Come on, why, why, why do that to someone? And then Ariel Sharon is an old man. Like, like he's not like he's like. 20-something. He's like in the 70s. 70s. Yeah. It, I, I just don't agree with that. Like, if I was on life support and I needed to be on life support and there was hope that I could survive, right. all right. there's no hope, then you, you need to like, come, with, come at peace and let that person go. Yes. It's hard to say, but it's like, it's like, it's, it's, it's not going to do anybody any good if you keep somebody around who's brain dead brain dead on a machine that's allowing their heart to pump mm -hmm. because when you're brain dead you're not getting any oxygen to your brain which is the reason why all of us are alive okay like 
Our, our brains makes our body do everything. Everything that we right. do is controlled by the brain. So if you can't do anything, let me go. Let me go. It's a shame because the uncle of the little girl, he said on a, in an interview a few weeks ago that his niece had actually said that she didn't want to have the operation before it was done. She had complained to her mom that she, did, that she was scared. Mm -hmm. And then for this to happen, it is so Oh, so the mother sad. is probably living with guilt? Yeah, she probably is. And, oh and it's God. sad because the parents are probably all living with guilt. They're probably like, oh my God, she already said she didn't want to have it. But it's like, I'm one of those people, I am one of those people, you can call me old-fashioned, I'm one of those people, you are not taking anything out of me unless it is life-threatening. Like, for instance, I still have all my wisdom teeth. My dentist, he should have never told me this. I went to the dentist one day, and I got my teeth cleaned, and while I was there, they always do an x-ray of my teeth. So he came back with the x-ray, and he said, oh, you, you know, your wisdom teeth are growing in. He said, they're growing in straight, you know, so it's not, uh, but it's not, you know, this, that, and the third. I said, oh, they're growing in straight? He said, yeah, they're not growing in crooked. I said, what does that mean? He said, um... He said, um, usually if they go on crooked such and such, you know, you'd have to get them pulled. He said, but they're coming straight in. He said, do they give you pain every once in a while? I said, yeah, every once in a while they'll give me pain. Like, for instance, a few weeks ago they gave me pain. Not, not even pain. It was just an uncomfortable feeling. You take a few, few motions for a few days and then you're back to normal. I said, okay, well, if I don't have to get them pulled, best believe <laughs> these are not coming out of my mouth. And guess what? My wisdom teeth are coming straight in. And I will not get them pulled out because if it's not necessary, if it's not mandatory, then there's no need for me to take any. First of all, I saw my sister go through pain and agony. Mm -hmm. okay? I seen Amber go through it. No, it's like, mm-mm. No. No, 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 no. I heard it, it, after, after a couple days, it's not as bad. You got to take all them pills. To yeah. Ain't nobody got time for that. I don't, I don't got time for that. I don't even want to take no kind of medicine. One time, it was this medicine that just made me emotional. Like, it was just, like, somebody could say something, and you know, if you, you really wouldn't take heart to it, that shit made me just cry like I cried when my mom told me. What? It wasn't liquor? No, bitch. Oh. It was a medicine. You tried it. And my mom, my mom told me that Charles got robbed, and I, I was at work, and I just broke down, start crying. Oh, like I would never cry. And like, well, what happened? But it just, yeah. just made me so much. And I think it was called hydrocodone. Mm -hmm. I would never take that shit again. No, it just made me too emotional. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, 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 my prayers go to that family. Yes, but I want okay. them to just let her go. And I hear that there's another story in Texas where there's a woman on life support that's pregnant, and they want to keep her on life support so the child can be can born. be can be born. Now, I I can agree with that. Once the child gets to a certain amount of weeks, because you have something living in you, mm -hmm. so I I can agree with that one. Keeping her on life support until you know she has the baby, but if she's Brain dead again. That you gotta let them go. People have to learn how to let people go. When my father was on life support, he's like the hospital's gonna call and ask you, "What do you want to do?" And I'm not, you know, let him go. You're not gonna keep him on life support. You put, they put like, uh, they try all these different tests. Like mm -hmm. I was in Philly and I was with my aunt, mm -hmm. and you know they try all these different tests because he had a brain aneurysm and his body was just not responding to anything. anything. So, you know, they had the, after a couple of days, they took him off life support, yeah. you know. So, and shout out to my dad, because his birthday was, what's the day? Thursday. His birthday was on Saturday. Damn! His birthday was on thir Tuesday. Kevin, get it right! His birthday was on Tuesday. So, shout out to my father. Shout out to my first lady, because her <laughs> birthday is today, January 9th. Yes, what's going on with all these which Capricorns? Much, when you watch this video, it'll be tomorrow, January yeah. 10th, which will be yesterday, January 9th. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all get it. We'll get it together. Yeah. We will get it together. Yes, yes, yes. And um, I want to talk about this police department in Omaha. Did you hear about it? Where is, it with the little, is it with yes, the little baby? Yes, they say about the thug tackle. I haven't, look, seen the, I haven't seen the video, but I've I've right. seen the video. Mm -hmm. And let me tell y'all something. Y'all are so mad at the police department okay. when y'all should be mad at, at the, the people in the video saying, say fuck you, say suck right. my dick, right. and smash, right. and all that bullshit. Y'all mad about the wrong thing. And I do believe that them, them teaching him how to be like that That's right. is a part wow. of the thug cycle. You're you mad you because it's the truth. truth. And the truth hurts in these things. Come on, yes. Kevin, you better preach. But come on now, look at how they're 
teaching him and, you know, teaching him to say this and say that. They're teaching him the wrong true. things at a young age. So therefore, when he gets older, he's going to automatically think the wrong things are the right things. Yes. Why? Because you had his mother and whoever the people were in the video. But he had older people telling him that this was something right to do. Some people don't even think that far. Mm -hmm. Some people think that, oh, no, 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 no. But you have to start thinking with your brains. Mm -hmm. When you are teaching a child, what does the Bible say? Train them up in the way that you would want them to, to go. go. There you go. When you are teaching a child at a young age, you have to be mindful of the things that you are teaching. Like, for instance, it's funny to me a lot of times when I see, I have a cousin and I see her and she posts a certain Instagram videos with her kids, you know, cute kids. And she posts, and sometimes her oldest son, he'll cuss. And she'll yell at him for doing it. But sometimes I want her to go a step further. Not on camera, but I do want her to go a step further and pop him in yes. his mouth to let him know, don't say that. You're not supposed to say that. Because he's saying it a little bit too freely because she's not really getting on him the way she should get on him. You know what I mean? And it's but so much that you can say to some people because then some people don't want you to tell them how to raise a kid. Fine. But then don't be upset in the future when there's consequences to be hell. Cursing that okay? and saying whatever they want. Because those type of kids who go around cussing and saying all this stuff like that, they will go to school and do that. And see, one thing I've learned in the past, because believe it or not, I was once a student. One thing I've learned in the past is that teachers don't play that. You have some teachers who will let you slide, and then you have some teachers, you got to go, okay? Because that's a form of disrespect. Mm -hmm. And you can't go to nobody's classroom cursing. So, yes, being upset with the police department is not the people that you should be upset with. You should actually be happy that the police department put people like this on blast. Because mm -hmm. it's nothing but the truth. And, and, and especially a lot of our African-American brothers and well, brothers, more than the sisters, uh, most of them are locked up. A lot of people I grew up with are either locked up or, or, dead. or dead. At somebody's cemetery. Yes. And y'all wonder like, why That's pitiful. Go ahead. I, I just, I'm just saying, like, you're mad because the police department pointed out something right. Look at all of these crimes that go on in each of our cities. Who's the main people committing them? I'm just saying. <laughs> it is a part of it. Like, you're taught to keep your pants. My mother's like, bitch, you better keep them pants around your waist. Like, I don't even feel comfortable when I don't have, have a, a belt. belt on me, too. Right? Like, oh, it feels so, like, damn, I forgot my belt. Then I got to keep pulling Pulling my pants up, that is so irritating. And then you got the people that want to sell the drugs on the corner and you know they want to smoke. I mean, I don't see nothing wrong with smoke. But if you selling it and you just come on, we have to do better. Then we're not even graduating from high school. You know, we're just letting our kids just roam the streets. They can't read on great level. Or that thing that I posted from CNN yesterday. About half of the college athletes are reading at a fifth grade oh, level. A lot, a lot of them are done. Grade <laughs> they have a and take tests for them and do all kinds of things for them. Like, uh, come on. Uh, fifth grade. I'll never forget when I was in, I'll never forget this. Finn letter. This was seventh grade. And I'll never forget my dad went up to school for parent um, teacher night, which was very unusual because my mom always went. <laughs> well, for the, some odd reason, my dad went this time. And i never forget Miss Eck, who was my uh, one of my teachers at the time. She told my dad, she said, um, yes, Mikkel, he's reading at a 10th grade school level. And I was only in the 7th grade. I was like, yes, bitch. And you know what my dad said to my to her? What? He said, yeah, because his mom don't play when it comes to reading. Oh. I said, I know. That's right. My mom made sure that I read, okay? So I was one of those kids in school that I never had a problem with raising my hand when it came time to read. Oh, and I used God. to always look at the... It's, what? It would, it would always be the boys. Mm -hmm. They'd sit there and they wouldn't want to read. Or they would start reading real slow. Oh, I love to read at school. Uh, I love to read. We used to read what? Um, um, what's that J.D. Silent book? Oh, oh my God! The Catcher in the Rye, um, um, Hamlet. We like. I used to just love to read. Period. If it's social study book or science book, a bitch would be in there reading and then reading like I'm a damn news reporter, even though I'm not. And shout out to Lisa and Dana because we used to love to read. The Color Purple. Like, we read that book for, like, two weeks. Had to do book reports, all that bullshit. Like, just shout out to Lisa and Dana. Like, I, I just, we just always love the reading stuff. But, yeah, y'all got to be tougher on your kids. And then 
Teach them not to curse because a lot of y'all post videos on Vine and Instagram thinking it's cute that y'all children are cussing. It's not cute. You know, don't get me wrong. I do get my life yeah, for 15 seconds, cute. but it's not right. Okay? No. Because let me tell you something. I'm one of those people. I laugh at your kids all day long making a fool of themselves. <laughs> but let mine make a fool, <laughs> then we have a problem. Because my mom taught me a long time ago, you are a reflection of me. And if any, my mom used to scare me and my sister with this all the time. If anybody comes knocking on my door telling me that you were acting a fool, mm. that's lights that's out. All right. Lights out. And we're going to change the gears off the children. And I want to talk about the WWE. Now, y'all know the WWE, my wrestling. Now, y'all know I talk about my I don't talk about my I used to talk about my wrestling. But the WWE made a big announcement last night concerning the future of their network, where they're actually making a network, the WWE Network, where everything is strictly online through your mobile device, through the computer, through WWE, your Xbox, PlayStation, Roku, or wherever else you watch your um, program. It's going to be a 24-7 network where they're showing different programs. They're going to have new programs, reality shows that's wrestling-based. And they're going to have their full WWE, WCW, and ECW libraries online for only $9.99 a month. And all of their pay-per-views, their live pay-per-views, where you used to pay. First of all, when I was growing up, pay-per-views used to be $10, fucking dollars, okay? Then they started to inch up to $20, then $30, then $40, then now they are $55 to watch a three-hour pay-per-view. I don't know who the fuck they think they're playing with, but I'm not spending that kind of money on a pay-per-view. Your so, my Vista just popped up. Lies. So what did they do? Because I don't even have a my Vista account. I just go search and watch. Oh, I did. So yeah, I know you do. And you got favorites. I see yeah, so, I see you. Shut up. You think I don't? I see my library. I'm single. I can do that. Oh, MG. So... So instead of that, they included in the monthly $9.99 a month three, they're adding all 12 of their pay-per-views, including SummerSlam, Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, and the Survivor Series at no extra charge. Now, to me, that is great. You know, for some of y'all thinking y'all going to pay $10 a month just to watch WrestleMania, fuck no, bitch. They said you have to pay six months in advance. Mm. So that's $60 mm. and then another $60, which is $120. But to me... That is a deal because I am a huge wrestling fan. And I already pay for Netflix. I already pay for Hulu. So why not even pay for the WWE Network? So to all my wrestling fans out there, if you have kids that love to watch wrestling and, you know, like to watch the pay-per-views and you don't order them because they're so high, I really think that that is a good investment for you guys to get into. And I know Mikael is not into the wrestling thing, but that's my motherfucking thing. Shout so out. So wait, let me ask you a question. Yes. So is it only online or is it on strictly, TV? Strictly, it's strictly online. Online, but you can. I think um, it should be a television I network I, on own. I, I don't know if they have the money to do it as a full network. And why get, not? I don't know. Let me tell you something. You know why I think it should be a good. You know what? I, as you were talking, I was sitting here thinking. That's how fast my head starts. The brain starts. Will starts spinning. Okay. I was sitting here thinking. If they made it a TV network, just imagine. When does wrestling come on? Mon oh, every basically every night of the week. Monday, new episodes. Wednesdays, Friday, okay, so okay, Saturday. fine, fine. Okay, so each night, you know, they had the live, whatever it came on, like let's say eight o'clock. But but throughout the day, they could show old wrestling matches, or they be. could, you know, and intertwine with the, uh, like you said, the reality shows. They can put that on TV, and as many people, first of all, you showed me the other day the old, what do you call the thing, like the yeah. Super Bowl of wrestling. WrestleMania. WrestleMania from what, 1991 or something mm -hmm. like that? All those people that still go to the, even today, arenas full of people. Can you imagine how many people would actually sit and love to enjoy that? I think it should be on TV rather than online. I think they want to make I it more of a profit. I, I think I'm paying $10. That's $120 a year versus $700 for pay-per-view. I don't want to no go word. online and see men fighting in Speedos when I just go online for free uh, on my Esther and see that. God, see, you're looking at it from the wrong thing. See, what most people don't understand is well, that people, those wrestlers turn me while, people anyway. say, while people say, oh, wrestling is fake. Wrestling I didn't is say wrestling, wrestling I know, was fake. I know, but we all know it's fake. Nobody, come on now. Right. 
they they, they even showing you how people learn how to take the music. Of course, we know it's fake. That's like saying, "Oh, Janet it. Jackson singing somewhere oh, with a, a, a what, orchestra." Wait, what happened? You never know. Bitch, don't do it. Don't fucking do it, bitch. Don't do it. <laughs> you are trying. On my time. That was but, a good example, but you know what I mean. Try me. <laughs> but yeah, I just, I just, it's, it's good because then we'll be able to interact through Facebook, Twitter, talk bullshit while watching stuff. I think that it's good. Like, on, what a lot of people don't realize is that, what a lot of people don't realize is that online is the way to go. Is, but you I don't need know. to have just a, a regular damn network. That you, you know how much money it costs to run a network? Yeah, I, I see. <laughs> but once they get all your money from the internet, then they'll sure. take it to the network. And then you'll be sitting there like, oh, oh, oh. But see, if they do switch to a network, that's they, they, it's fine. They already have a WWE. What do you mean network. all the money that they need to run a network? Look at all the money that they make from WrestleMania. Look how, and from the pay-per-view tickets. No, but so, what, but so what? Look how much money Oprah makes, and she still couldn't get her network together. Okay, that's so, because Oprah didn't have, have the good show. Shows. She didn't have shows like that. Oprah, Oprah, Oprah had that scoop because she had that years. stupid ish on her network. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for all that dumb ish. We got time for a Yala fix my life. You know why? Because half of us need our lives fixed. Yes. You know? And when you got somebody like Yala who's no holds bar, she gonna come to your house and tell you, wait a minute. No, I don't want you to tell me how. I don't want you to tell me what he did. I want you to show me how he put his arms around you and neck, or he rang your neck and started choking you. <laughs> you know? That's what I want to see. Because I'm newsy. See? Go on. See, that's what I'm talking about. But, but it's, a, it's a great, I think it's a great thing. So kudos to Vince McMahon, Triple H, and Stephanie McMahon. I mean, but eventually I can see it moving to television. Man, and that's man. because they'll take all your money that they done made from the internet and then, then switch buy over yeah, the switch network. over. Mm. But you got to have advertised people. Well, I'm pretty sure they will. Of course, that's But it's so much, but it's so much that comes from running a network where you can just watch everything on demand that you want to watch when you want to watch. Online, oh, Kevin, don't act like it's not possible for them to do it. It's very possible for yeah. wrestling, WWE. WWE has been around for a long, mm -hmm. long time. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was a little boy at my grandmother's house and my cousins and them used to watch it. And then that's when Hulk Hogan and them were big. And you would see these people on TV and it was like, you know, wrestling was the big sport. Like it was. Well, so that's just like saying, well, Netflix should just go have a damn TV channel or Hulu should have their own TV channel, even though they're producing their own TV shows. No, that's not right. like that. It's Why is that? No, it's not. Why? Why? Because Netflix, you are paying for movies and like you would do if you were going to go rent the movies. Yes. But with WWE, you would only be paying for shit that like the, uh, what do you call it? The WrestleMania. All that no. other shit. Well, what but else you, you get I just for? told you, you're getting, uh, you're getting their whole library. WCW, ECW, and WWE. Oh, fuck their library. And watching it wherever you want. Nobody cares about that library. I do. How shit. much do you do? I won't buy another DVD because all I got to do is just go online and just watch it when that I want to watch it. I'm, yes. I'm not paying for that, but they can give it to you for free. No, I'm gonna pay for ten dollars a month. And besides, $10 Netflix $10 is cheaper than that ten dollars a month because I, right, I don't Netflix pay ten dollars. Eight dollars. Oh right, wow! Two dollars. Ooh, cheap. you'll say yep, two dollars. Yup, two dollars. Let me tell you something. Because dollars. at the end of the month, that two dollars adds up, doesn't it? Yes, it does. So, so don't say ooh, two dollars. Sure That's just four dollars in your gas tank. Sixteen dollars. Okay. Sixteen dollars in your gas tank. Shout out to shout out to insanity. I mean. T Fuck Focus C25. I need y'all to be on it. Today was my fourth day. My body is in so much pain. But you know, I'm getting through it again. This is my fourth day. I got two more months to go. And I want y'all to stay committed and don't give up. That's right. Stay with it. He's getting stay that body ready for the That's real right. pain. I'm getting ready for May. The real pain. The who? The real pain. Oh, you want to sizzle? I think so. Oh, you know, I know I you're going. So. I, think I haven't been to since two years. I think I'm on that. He knows he's going. We all think he's going. So I could be on the beach and just be like, look at me, look, look at me three years ago, and look at me now. No, I don't want to look at you. <laughs> I don't want to look at you in that light. I don't look at you in nobody's beach. Yes. Yeah, so but I look at you on the beach naked and be like, what are they killing the animals out here? Know, and throwing them the carcasses <laughs> on the beach. <laughs> But you know, this body is, is getting, it's coming together. And it's coming to form. Yes, it is. So if you, if you stick to it and keep doing it, it will be fine. And then when you really stick to it and you look back at two months, you'll be like, damn, it wasn't even that bad. Because right. then when you stop doing it, then you go two months ahead, like, damn, two months passed already and I'm still the same size. Don't you get tired of that shit? Do something about it. I'm Show sorry, are you throwing shade at me? No. No. Because no. I'm fine with my body. I look good. Kevin, move that camera up. Move that up. I tried it. <laughs> so what? 
All right, get that camera off. Put shit up. If you can see my pants is down too far. Right. All right. That's right. That's right. I want to need to be. Every, some things need to be a little mystery. Okay. You show right that. Did you see it to the mystery? We <laughs> get up and start twerking on camera. <laughs> You see when Tamika sent me that video from what? our last video for the other day, and she sent me that clip, and I was too busy talking and scratching myself at oh. the camera. I said, "Why would I do that?" Oh, you too comfortable. <laughs> too comfortable. Too damn comfortable. Now I want to wait before we get all fucked up. Now it's this video going around on the internet where this mom is forcing <laughs> the kid to fight the boy. And the boy, you know, I think he got beat up a little bit. He started crying. Then the, once he started really beat up. Who got beat up? The, the mom's son? The, the boy that the mom was. The, the mom's son got beat up a little bit. But she pushed the boy away like, no, if you want to fight him, I want you to fight him. But you, you know, don't be crying. Get your ass out there and fight him. And then she teach him how to hold his hands up and all of that stuff. How big was the kids? The boy was bigger than the, the boy beating his ass. This little boy, and he was getting his ass picture, up. picture, Charles fighting Jeremy, and Jeremy fucking Charles up. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so wait a minute, but how old were they? Like, they had to be like good 10. Oh, so they were a little bit. Let me yeah. tell you something. I don't find it. Nothing wrong with parents making their kids get out there and fight. I come from That's the, the old projects. <laughs> right. Raymond old Rosen <laughs> Projects, okay? Yeah. I had a boy that would terrorize me in the neighborhood. He, he would terrorize me. Ass. Lies. And my mom, ah! <laughs> and I was like, Mom, he said you're going to steal my bike. Oh, my mom made me go over in there and fight him. Mm -hmm. And I did not want to fight him. Mm -hmm. And I got my ass beat because mm -hmm. I was I was not trying to fight him. And best yeah, believe, right. best believe, when I got home, I got my ass whipped. And it wasn't with no belt. <laughs> my mom picked up one of the Amber's jump ropes, and I got my ass what? I can see your mom now. Hi, bitch. Hi, bitch. She <laughs> told me. Ah. Then the next time she told me to go out there and fight somebody, I ain't have a problem whooping his ass and making his nose bleed because I did not want that jump rope beaten ever again. And I really didn't have problems growing up mm -hmm. fighting in the projects, but. Every now and then, you'll fight you one day, the friends the next day. Like, these kids of the day, you fight one day, they want to shoot you the next mm -hmm. day. What type of shit is going on? I would rather the mom teach her son how to fight That's than right. to teach him how to hold Pick a gun. Pick up something. That's right. Because, like Kevin said, my mom used to be like, if you don't go fight, I can whoop your ass, okay? Because that was just the way people were brought up. And I, what's so fascinating is that everybody knows I love old watching old movies. And when you watch a lot of the old movies that um, have scenes where they have a group of little boys and you always see them all out and about and they're like fighting each other and like fist fighting and then they're playing again. And that's how it was back then. You fought and then you played. Nowadays, it's killing each other. So I'm glad that there's a mom out there actually telling her son, no, you're going to fight. Because sometimes as a little boy, sometimes it, it, it comes to time where you have to fight, you know? And sometimes you're going to get your ass whooped, and sometimes you're not going to get your ass whooped. But I, like I said, I would rather the mom teach her son how to fight right. than to teach him how to hold the gun or how to kill somebody. And y'all better get y'all better get a hold of right. y'all kids. I'm going to tell you a kid, story. Don't let nobody hit you. And don't go around <laughs> fucking with other people. That's I, right. I see a lot of videos where the bully gets his ass whooped. Okay, and I mean whooped. And I remember um, when I was in elementary school, this NTA was telling us about how she paralyzed this girl because the girl was terrorizing her. Chased the girl home from school. She said one day her dad locked her out and said, you ain't getting into this house until you fight her. Next thing you know, she ran that girl back into a car and paralyzed the girl. Mm. And, you know, you, I mean, it's a shame that that It's a shame that that girl had Yes, yeah, she had it coming, yes. Because anytime you chase somebody home, first of all, my mom always told me, you don't go to nobody's house and fight them. Because <laughs> 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 you don't know what they got. Oh, who's going to come oh, who's going to come the fuck out? Okay. If they want to fight you, tell them to come here. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because I got something for them. All right. Okay? I mean, that's right. You don't go to nobody's house. So anytime you chasing somebody to their house to fight them, you're wrong. Mm -hmm. Because if you come on my property to fight me, yeah, see, back then, come on, come up here. Back then, or if, if the kids was bothering you that much back in the day, your parent could go knock on that child's door 
tell the mom what's going on, the mom fuck them up, mm-hmm. and you don't really have no problems. Right. But now it's like, don't tell me what my kid doing. Blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just crazy how the time change. Like, I thought times changed when my mom and them was coming up. But now I really see it. Like, because that was like, what, 1930? Well, my mom, you tried it. <laughs> my mom is, my mom, well, my mom was grew up in the 50s. In the 50s and 60s, yeah. Because yeah. what child is your mom? 69? 60, yeah, she'd be 69 in November. Oh, so she's 68. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's just these these days is different. Have so it your way. She really tried me. Really tried. Today. I'm sure she did. Like, I like, mean, she tried me today too, but she really tried it the other day, talking about me. We took you to date. You didn't take us no man. You didn't. And then has the nerve to be into it. That's like, right. Because <laughs> I was very into it. So, so let's talk about. Do the beast got that? I can't. <laughs> you can't do that. It's, it's, <laughs> All right, so shout out I'm sick. to B. Scott because me and my my nephew came in here was saying something about B. Scott, and he and I was like, you know what? That's crazy because I haven't heard nothing from B. Scott since he sued B. E. T. I was like, you know, things is really quiet around here. So next thing I know, I ask you guys, what do you want us to talk about? Then I'm like, oh, Kevin, you got to talk about what happened with B. Scott and B.E.T. I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. So I go to Google and search it. Bam, TNZ talking about how emails leaked from B.E.T., how they did, how, excuse me, I need the direct quotes from mm-hmm. Mr. Stephen Hill because mm-hmm. okay. he tried B. Scott talking about, I want to tone down. No, he didn't say tone down. Let me read what he said. Come on now. He said... See, that's why I have my notes ready. Stephen Hill said, I don't want to, I don't want, look, this what? is the email, let me read it. No, wait a minute, first of all, Perez sister, get your website together. What do you say? I don't want looking like a woman, be, oh, I don't want looking like a woman, B. Scott. I want temper, B. Scott. Then the network executive, network VP, Rhonda Cohen said, Rhonda Cohen said, I, I can speak, speak to him, him about, about being, being less, less womanly. womanly. First of all, how do you and, do that? And coming from a network that claims to, and mind you, and this is all coming from a network, BET, mm-hmm. who claims to be globally diverse. Okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, what else? Go back up. No, because you missed it. Because you missed the email where the girl, where the other girl chimed in. Well, we can spin it off. Okay. Then. And then, then, however, Monique Ware... A senior director at the network probably displayed the most scheming behavior of all. She wrote an email saying the spin should be he was late for a live show and subsequently replaced and it would have been awkward in a live show to have the person assuming his role removed and him inserted. Unless we can make public the reason we didn't want him dressed the way he normally does, I would stay away from suits, suit selections, etc. So basically, she wanted to lie about the whole thing and pretend it never happened, except that it did. <clears throat> Be schooled! Bitch, get ready to get your money. Be because B is going down. down. <laughs> because B Scott won't be around. Oh, this is and just. And left BT a long time ago because there ain't no good shows on there. But wait a minute. Baby, Jay, everybody talking about that. I don't Go watch on. that shit no more. Cause my sleep's gonna come easy. You sound <laughs> terrible, terrible. BT, I mean not BT, B Scott. I am broke. Can you break the voice right there? Because let me tell you something. This is the best form of I told you so. Mm-hmm. Or better yet. This is the best way, this is the best form of, like someone old, a long time ago used to tell me, mm-hmm. if you keep quiet and let them talk, the truth will eventually come out. And what happened? Beat yeah, Scott, he kept quiet, out. and the truth eventually came out. Be, I cannot wait to hear what they have to say about this. Yes. Better yet, I can't wait to hear what Miss Deborah Lee has to say about this. Like, that is ridiculous. That is crazy. I mean, BET, y'all can take a note from Bravo, okay? Bravo had Dara J and Miss Lawrence. Lawrence all over that network. You know, I'm not a fan of all of the clothes that they wear, but, but they let them be true to, to who, who they, they are. are. Come on, you better and, speak. And Bravo even let B. Scott be true to who you are when he was on Chef Roleplay. Now, I didn't watch the whole episode, but I didn't know that his ass was on there mm-hmm. having a party. All right? That's right. And they let B. Scott be B. Scott. 
What is so wrong with letting people be who, who they, they are, want to, want to be or are in 2014? First of all, we've been going through this fighting for who we want to be for a long time. Now just to say, we accept you for who you are. Mm -hmm. If the people get mad about who they have in the network, then bitch, don't fucking watch. But as long as it's being in ratings and people watching, who really cares? There's, that. first of all, the gays run this shit, okay? okay. That's what y'all really okay. don't want to acknowledge, but we do. What did Beyonce say? Who run this mother girl? <laughs> and she wasn't talking about the girls with vaginas. <laughs> but come on, like BT. Let's be for real. Who's really watching BET? Who's running home to say, oh, bitch, I got to watch one of the Nobody. Nobody. Nobody, nobody, nobody. Nobody's no more is running home and saying, I got to watch 106 Apart. Because first of all, nobody knows who the hosts are. Because every time you turn around, it's a new damn host, okay? Mm -hmm. BET hasn't been the same since Terrence. No. no. BET hasn't been the same since, since Bob Johnson left. BET hasn't been the same yet since Bob Johnson left. But what, but what I meant to say was 106 Apart ain't been the same since AJ and Frick, okay? Oh, oh Y'all let AJ God. and Frick be themselves, okay? Because AJ <laughs> had the nappiest race I've ever seen on man. But y'all let him be himself, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, if y'all can't let B. Scott be so then y'all don't need nobody on there like him. Why would you invite somebody like B. Scott to host a red carpet event and then turn around and say, oh, but I don't want him to be womanly. Well, what do, what do you want? Because first of all, as long as, I, as long as I've been introduced to B. Scott, I've never seen him in a masculine way. I've always seen him in his way. So then what actually were you looking for, Stephen Hill? Because B. B. Scott has were you a lot of personality. For? Right. So why wouldn't you want that for the BET? It's fashion, bitch. It's red carpet. First of all, come on. They fucked up big time because B. Scott is one of those people that he could have brought more people, more mm -hmm. viewers to that network. They could have given B. Scott his own show. He could have brought the girls and the girls. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because, you know, women, they love to see a fashionably dressed gay man. They just love it. Especially when a gay man's face is beat and he dresses like women like to see that. Because then they like to they, they like to see that because then they like those type of men to dress them. Mm -hmm. You know? And then the gays, the gays come in droves when they watching something. Okay? Just ask Beyonce. And I wonder if BET still ever paid B. Scott yet, because you know Ask Beyonce. At that time, B. She Scott still you. never even got the gays when the when you say Beyonce is coming on, on, the gays will run. Okay. Yes, they will. Look at the Super Bowl. Gays don't watch that shit. <laughs> Everybody, I, I don't know about y'all. I don't watch, I the, Super watch the Super Bowl. I just don't. Who is you know? Okay. Your ass is ringing. I don't okay. watch the Super Bowl, okay? <laughs> I don't watch the Super Bowl. For, I mean, don't get me wrong. There are gays who watch the Super Bowl. Don't get me wrong. Not all gay. But I'm just saying. I don't watch it. Why? Because I don't watch right. football. I, don't, I, I, I like basketball. Watch sports. I no, I like, like basketball. basketball. I like watching basketball. But I don't watch football because it's boring to me. Football is not boring. It's boring to oh me. God, just I like wrestling's it. boring. Wrestling is... Everything. Yeah, I bet you. you would, let everything. somebody throw your big ass in the ring. I will wrestle in the wrestling ring. If they ever, if they ever ask me to be a guest on it, I would do it, bitch. And I would love to see yes, you get tail spin. Guess right. That's right. I, I love. I'm wrestling. sure you'd like to get tail spin too. Right. See, you think it's <laughs> see, you think all oh, the gay stuff. The wrestling. What gay like stuff? If see, if I could do anything for wrestling, bitch, I would be a manager because y'all know I can fucking talk and I can get on that microphone and talk fucking shit. That's what's missing from wrestling. Back in the day, you had Bobby Heenan, Miss Elizabeth. Oh my God. You had oh fucking. Oh my God. Back to be Scott. You had no, no. <laughs> fuck all of them. You had Queen Sherry. Oh my God. You had oh. all of these mother effing managers back in the day. You don't have no more. Because right. you want to bring up the Because that shit is not a managed, micro managed but thing. Anyway, it's a whole fake So thing anyway, now. back, back to, to B. Scott. Scott. Right. B. Scott, get your motherfucking money, all right? And you know what, B. Scott? We were just talking about our first celebrity guest. You can come on our show and tell us exactly sure. what happened. We could do a Skype. We could get on here yeah. and talk. And let's talk about what went on. That is not a bad idea. No, Damn. I just thought of that, right? Yeah, you, you, you did that. I did that. You did that. You did that. <laughs> he did that. BET fucked up. I mean, seriously. Cool. I still. Oh. Ooh. Don't do it. <laughs> I didn't want that to be on, on the shirt. That would have been too mean. Uh uh. You didn't tell him to put quotes. Mm -mm. You still. Oh. Because cause it's a negative reflection of where it came from. Okay, I see what you're saying, yeah. And we're being positive in the 2014. That's right. you're, you're right, that's smart. Mm -hmm. But it would have been a. But think about the shirt I shared. That would have been, that been <laughs> a shirt I would have worn. <laughs> Somebody. Well, it was over. 
Oh, I know who probably said that. Oh, mm, All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get mad! Get mad! I'm like, I can't stand when y'all do that! Get your ass out of my face. Sit my face. <laughs> Let me sit this ass. Move! <laughs> but I just thought that we had it because... I said I was going to be ratchet in 2014. Sorry. Don't be ratchet. I heard Miss New York is not doing that show Ratchet Queens on VH1 Good. anymore. Her mom needs to come out with her own show. I'm just not into Miss New York no more. That was like eight years was like, ago. That was when reality she show was just on right, top of She off. really was the queen of them. Yeah. Right. Man, was she like, to get those girls to in her cheap dresses. <laughs> like she was so cute. Okay. <laughs> New York ensembles used to be so cheap from Claire's and Dots. Mm -mm -mm. Sorry for all you Clarence and shop girls. That's girls. Don't talk about me when I dress in drag. Don't do that. I forgot you dress in drag. Oh, yeah. yeah. That is an ungodly sight to say. Now, see, I would talk about the supermarket thing with the kids and stuff, but that was all fake. And y'all went all for it. I knew something wasn't right because the kids kept hitting on the mom. And first of all, ain't no black island mom going for that. <laughs> Are you fucking you kidding, kidding me? It? Did you see Rihanna's mom? <laughs> <laughs> And then, and then, uh, y'all see, talk about Beyonce crashing somebody's um, party. That was cute. I didn't hear from that. Hey, That's, that. That was cute when she uh, crashed these girls karaoke and mind you, they happened to be singing party. So, and one of the girls was knocked out sleep. Can you imagine <laughs> Kelly Rowland and Beyonce in your fucking booth, bitch? And you wake up, tell me, where's the like, video? I don't it's know. A it's, video? it's not a video, but yeah. it's a story. The girl woke up saying, "Oh my God, you look like Kelly Rowland." And then she looked up and was like, "Oh my God!" Bitch, what you saw? Okay, what you saw? Beyonce, she was like, "Bitch, fuck, bitch." The originally singer of the group. <laughs> How are you doing? No, get Because I'm second D. <laughs> and then we talked about how we talked about that video and no, then it blew up. up. And nobody, nobody gave us credit. Nobody, nobody gave us credit. Over. It was all over. All right? Huffington, Perez. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. The video was already out there. Yes. But I'm saying once we put the spotlight. All right. <laughs> she I'm got Kelly to. Yes. But I still don't think that she did her purpose. <laughs> wow! Kevin is actually taking up for Beyonce! She didn't do it. Wow! That's a first! I think she really had yeah, something to put. Because that was ghetto back then. I it told was. you about that. Oh, here she we go. Looked I told you about that interview where Beyonce was eating them grapes and shit. He's fucking them grapes up backstage. She told Farrah in the studio, like, um, we can sing your stuff. To my <laughs> independent woman child. No, did you hear that? Huh? She told Farrah in the studio, oh, we can sing your stuff. Fair said, well, how am I going to get home? She said, you going to fly home. Okay, bye. She said, well, what about my lunch? She can't need my lunch. Oh, she said, well, we can send that. Because <laughs> you're not going to stay. Because my dad's paying for this video time. She said all of that? Yeah. She, In a yeah. nutshell. <laughs> Basically, what she was telling her, you can't stay. Mm -hmm. You don't work here no more. Take those headsets off. Sure. My dad is paying for the studio time for Destiny Child, not for Destiny Child. And which there. show was that? Because that was real. But see, Beyonce wasn't like like the Beyonce that might go off in the studio now. Right. But uh, yeah. She told Farrah. Farrah said, what? No, I can't. She said, you can't. She said, no. She said, what about my luggage? Oh, we can send that. It's no problem. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, then we can say <laughs> goodbye. Then they and had the like, sail on. Yeah. <laughs> Michelle was like, girl, why do we need another group, another member in your yeah, put that, they, like some they, put, they okay. put that, see, they put that shade on Michelle. Because mm -hmm. remember, Beyonce did that interview, and they said, Mich and we was looking for another <laughs> member. All right. <laughs> Where is Michelle? And Michelle came out and said, she said well, why do we need it four ways? ways. Right. We keep it three, <laughs> three, ways. three ways. I can take fifths, okay? <laughs> Michelle, you smart. I love that. I like that. And, uh, but yeah, that's that's our Beyonce segment for this video. Because y'all know how y'all get. But yeah, I don't know what else that we have on our list, but just have a great weekend. Now, let me tell y'all something. What are we looking at? Oh. Martin Luther King weekend is next weekend. Please try to do something Martin Luther King related. Now, you know how I say. Or you go to Atlanta. Or give back. Yes. 
And you can commit something. Service. Commit, yes, that's what they really want you to do. Commit <coughs> this, that. It's not a day off. It's a day on. Uh, remember, remembrance yes. and community service. That's right. And now, when is the actual day? On November, Jan January 20th. January 20th. is the actual day. Yes. And you know what you guys should also do, too? The day before, on the 19th, go to church. Yes. Because I'm sure y'all pastors, y'all pastors are going to be preaching about something in, relate, in relation to the whole day of remembering Martin Dr. King. Dr. King. Yes. Okay? So go to church, and then the next day, community service. Or if you can't do anything that next day, do something that day after church. Yeah, I was just helping Madison with her homework about Dr. Martin Luther King. They, they had the whole Dr. Martin Luther King. I was like, Madison, just put in there, okay? And, you know... His family had a very, you know, his brother um, drowned in the swimming pool um, a few years after he was killed. Wait, his older brother or the younger one? No, I thought it was Martin Luther King three. was the was three. Well, I don't know. His last no, living brother. was the youngest. Well, his last living brother. His last living brother died, drowned in the swimming pool at his home. And then his mother was killed, killed inside the church. church. Playing... Playing the organ on Sunday morning, somebody walked in, crazy guy walked in, and shot his mother to death right at church. Well, we did a tour inside of um, Ebenezer. Ebenezer, they talked about that. Because I'm like, you know the, somebody story had Ebenezer. to bring it up. Okay. <coughs> the historic, when you got the historic Ebenezer, and, and then you the have new the, the, new the huge one across the street, 6,000 members. I want to go to that. I might go to that church. Have time. you ever seen, you should, next time you're in the land of that, Don't, that uh, no, I'm just yeah. saying, the next time you're there, the Sunday before, you should go to church. But what I was getting ready to say was, did you ever see the clips of um, his funeral, like the in, inside of the church of the day of his funeral? Mm -hmm. Like packed, packed. It was, everything was in black and white on from what I've seen. No, there's a color video of it on um, on YouTube. Really? Yeah, you can watch, I've never seen a color video. What? No, but I did. But but when you, you go to the one. when you go to the Martin Luther King um, memorial memorial, they also have the the uh, carriage that his casket was on, the, the jail the, um, the jail bars that he was actually behind. They have um, they have papers that he signed, robes that he wore, dresses Coretta wore. They got it. It's a beautiful. It's, um, it's museum. so nice. It if y'all go to Atlanta, I mean, even if you visit Atlanta, you have to go see at least Martin Luther King. Everything is all in one street. Martin Luther King house is down the street. Across the street, you got the memorial. Where he was buried at, too. Yes. Him and Coretta, the, the, where they the, buried the, at the, now. Uh, the fountain thing. Everything is there. You got the churches. Yeah. You can't. Don't go to Atlanta and say you don't have time to go see Martin Luther King. As much as he did for us, everybody to be there. Then there's people that live in Atlanta that has never been there. And, that's and I'm like, what the fuck? Like y'all not giving y'all give not giving out school trips, right? To Martin because I know for a fact in Philly, when we was in elementary school, they took us to that Liberty Bell. Mm -hmm. They took us to that art museum. That, it was like Liberty Bell wasn't where it was at. No, it wasn't. At they that moved time. it. And you know what the crazy thing about it is? It was like everybody who grew up in Philly and is from Philly has been to the Liberty yes. Bell or the art museum because you went on class trips there. And like you said, there's people who live in Atlanta and or from Atlanta and they've never never been. How what? You Don't tell me you live in Philly and never been to the Franklin Institute or Academy of Natural Science. Okay. Because I think the Franklin Trusty. Institute was the first the IMAX theater I had ever been to. And if, no, it was, they, then they got the, the, the other one, the ter Terranium, I where it feels like you're moving, but you're not. Oh, is that the theater? And then it's like when just the, the big screen lights up and everything. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Shout out to the I need to go back to the Franklin. Not going. me. Because there'd be too many damn kids in there now. See, when I was younger, it was fine. But now that I'm older, I don't have no kids. So I, I don't have, I, I don't have, I have very low tolerance for kids. And one of my friends that worked there, he said people be out there at 9.30 in the morning. Yeah. With the, like, you with mean, even kids. Sunday mornings, they got kids out there waiting. But that's good. That. That's good. Because people are taking their kids, because Franklin Institute's been there for years. They're taking their kids where they used to go when they were kids. I like I like to go inside the heart. That was my thing. That was my thing, too. But I, I went inside the heart for different reasons. <laughs> Who were you cutting up with back at that time? That's Get um, your life. Your and on that note, And when we say heart, yes, we mean a heart. Yes. They had a heart there, and you could actually go inside of it. And it had different rooms and cellars and closets and all that. I heard that um, my friend, you know my friend that works there. But I, I don't want to say his name on camera. Yeah, but yeah. what about it? Oh, no, he was just telling me how, you know, Christine Aguilera was there one time, and Cuba Gooden Jr., Felicia Rashad. Yeah, like, they always had... blue to the... Um, freaking, they did? Yeah, look at you. You? I'm like, bitch, I ain't hear about that. He believes everything I say. 
Because you know, you know all the Beyonce facts. Now, remember when I told him I didn't want to follow him on Instagram because um, like, I assume you ever said Beyonce picture. Now that I do follow him, but I mean, every other photo is Beyonce, Beyonce. I know. Ain't that funny? Because before you follow me, I didn't post Beyonce. And now you follow me. You know what I do is post Beyonce. I'm sorry. I'm going to stop posting her that no, much. No. And you know the shade is. Oh, you God. know how they do that video at the end of your best moments in 2013? That video. Oh, your best oh, moments Beyonce. Beyonce. I know. I, was I can't imagine. <laughs> And then my one of mine was Brandy when I posted that picture with Brandy with makeup. Wait a minute, I think you know, I mean, you know how my phone was. Oh yes, it is. <laughs> how you know? And then you want to ask to see mine, but then you don't want to like, see yours. You try to get to the camera. Room. You gonna tell me my um, biggest moment? Yeah. He can tell you what your biggest moment, sir. Okay, I'm a mess in this moment. So who is it? You in there? Some of them. <laughs> is it you with people? Lies. No, I'm just saying, is it you with people? Oh, you here ago. Oh, it's just you and stuff. Oh, that's a cute picture. Oh, not that for me. Oh, yeah, that one. Oh. Look at that one. Oh. Well, you are in two of them. Baby, I'm thinking blue. No. <laughs> just flat out no. Hell no. Hell no. Uh, I, I want to see Blue Ivy when she get old. Because they keep she my nephews keep talking about they make her look like a boy all the time. But when she grow up, Blue is going to be fab. She's going to have all her hair. Be, oh my God, she's going to be fine. Like, stop worrying about the small things. <laughs> Let's see yours. <laughs> that must be your first one. All right. <laughs> you tried it. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Michelle. And that's what Beyonce had posted. Damn, bitch, you had 21,000? Because I had posted that, and I told them what that bitch was. And they said, yes, bitch, she saw you. I said, I, know, yes. I think I'm going to post mine on Instagram. I know it's late, but I'm going to post it. <laughs> you actually posted that? Yes! Mm -mm. I see my bitch pulling up. Oh, yeah, I, I sat for it up. <laughs> I watched the other day when she told me she was a cowboy. <laughs> She's like, he's a cowboy. She said, Misty, what did I do? Because I respect you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what did I, we're not going to talk about it. But wait, I heard about that K. Michelle, Monique, um, um, Kenya Moore, all these people supposed to be joining Celebrity Apprentice. If it's oh, true. I will be a faithful. Okay. Because I would give anything to see uh, K. Michelle and, and Kenya go at it. <laughs> or Monique and Kenya Moore to go at it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, are you kidding me? That's drama. You got three. Oh, let me stop because y'all was y'all know how I feel about drama. It's drama though. Three black women, even like all of them black women on the show is going to be drama somewhere. Somebody is going to be mad about somebody about nothing. Right. But yeah, but we're going to go. I want you guys to enjoy your weekend. I'm supposed to be. Yeah, my weekend is looking kind of. Take fun. a little time to enjoy the view. Lies, you. The view is so. And now. Oh Amen. my God! That's because Joy and Elizabeth. Because Joy so and Elizabeth, boring. they point the drama. Mm -hmm. When Elizabeth says something stupid, Joy points straight for her. Now and it's always like, got a guest, and it's just boring. Like Barbara's leaving. This is her last season, and I guarantee you, they better just next. cancel it. They just need to cancel the show. Sherry's not leaving because that's her. That's her meal ticket. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's it her, really is. That's her meal ticket. Don't She's not leaving. Why? Oh my God. And then I got bored with Bethany because Bethany always had the same people on there and she keep talking about the same fucking topics like talk about talk about spankings and shit. Talk about that, Bethany. I got to go. I got to get ready to go go hit get ready to hit this bar. It's like no. You no. true. Turn the camera off. What leg? Don't nobody uh, know look at you. You made this money. Peace.